There is a lot of fresh green sprouting out on Singapore's rooftops. It is attracting not just birds and butterflies, but also urbanites looking for a rustic respite. I actually used to be an ex aerospace engineer, uh, an ex chef, and now I'm an uh, urban farmer. On the rooftop of Raffles City Shopping Centre in the downtown core area, you are transported into a whole other world. In this urban farm, farmers grow aloe vera, edible flowers, herbs, and much more. A lot of these are even turned into beauty products that are used by spas in the very same building. Singapore imports 90% of our food from 170 different countries. However, there are a few items like leafy greens, 50% of which comes from our neighbouring country. There is a high risk that if something goes wrong, uh, it could definitely affect our food supply. Singapore, even though we only produce 13% uh, of our leafy greens, by introducing urban farming, by being very creative with the space that we have, I think we are definitely able to increase this number to hopefully uh, 100% or even, even more, beyond 100%. Approximately one square kilometre of greenery covers rooftops across the city. That is equivalent to more than 100 football fields. And Singapore aims to double that figure by 2030. Meanwhile, on the rooftop of a car park complex in Western Singapore, another farm has taken shape without any soil at all. We have developed this uh, particular system is called AOS, Aqua Organic System, and it goes by a module. Each module is about 100 sets of particular sets like these, and then uh, we are allowed to have the water pump up into the, to the top of our these uh, two pipes, and then allow a gravitational flow back to the system again. We can program in such a way that you can harvest this kind of vegetable on a weekly basis, row by row. We have the possibility now to grow vegetables without use of any chemical or pesticide. We are seeing the future of vertical farming and also urban farming. Taking that idea further, the Citizen Farm, operated by Edible Garden City, is taking Singapore's food waste and turning it into fertilizer. Right now, we are taking up to 300 kg of food waste a day. The insect that our partner farm, Sasanto, is using is called the black soldier fly. It eats up all sorts of organic food waste, whether it's processed, unprocessed, raw or cooked. It will eat it up and turn it into fertilizer. The black soldier fly can then be grown to be a sustainable source of alternative protein that we can feed back into our chicken farms and our fish farms. Citizen Farm also runs a project called Citizen Box, a salad of edible flowers, leafy greens and mushrooms as a way to guide the community from supermarkets to farms and fresh produce. Edible Garden City has also managed to integrate food gardens into some high-end restaurants and helps maintain them. This is called the Ulam Raja, the king of salad. Tastes uh, like green mango. They are almost forgotten. And it's really amazing that customers are able to touch and smell something that is served later in their dishes. And that's what customers are starting to, to want to see where the food comes from. Singapore seems to be sowing its way back to agriculture in the new avatar of urban farms with sustainability, accessibility and community as its bedrock. It's very honest work. We hope that all of Singapore will be turned into, uh, into edible garden. Farming used to be revolving around communities. You know, people used to harvest and share the harvest and we are trying to use this to bring the community back together.